Good day. Uh, we're here in Komati Poor today with uh, Stefan Kutsier from Kit Plains for Africa. And he's going to tell us about his projects here and about the Safari Era plan. Yeah, the Safari is a new development at Kit Plains. We uh, started the development approximately three years ago. Uh, the market uh, required an aircraft with a, with a larger interior and also more stability in the tail wagon configuration. So, um, we started developing the safari, it, uh, it became an instant hit and um, the kits have been approved in the LSA category already, we're still busy with the VLA certification. Um, the aircraft has got a maximum pull off rate of uh, 700 kilograms. Uh, we are going to try for the 750 category of VLA. In the LSA uh, we have restricted the uh, weight to 600 kilograms. Uh, the empty weight is around about uh, 350, depending on your engine and options uh, fitted in the aircraft. Um, the crew is about 100 knots. Uh, fuel consumption around about uh, 18 to 20 liters an hour at 100 knots. Uh, the engine we utilize in this specific one has got a 600, 120 horsepower Jaguar aircraft engine. And um, yeah, she's a very good short field performer, a nice all rounder, with a nice big uh, useful road. So, uh, fun aircraft to fly. Do we uh, still find a lead time for delivery? Uh, from day of order for a kit is approximately six to eight weeks. Um, but a complete aircraft like this one is going to take approximately six to eight months. Um, we can build it short in shorter time periods, but because we do not build one aircraft at a time, uh, it does take a little bit longer. A few things take time. Okay, the different engine options, um, you can either use a Jabiru 6 cylinder 120 horsepower engine, a 914 Turbo Rotex or 912 UL and the ULS. Um, we also are looking at the UL350i which is a 130 uh, horsepower fuel injected engine. Um, so yeah, most engines up to approximately 130 horsepower um, can be utilized for the home builder. Uh, they would just have to modify the cowlings a little bit to suit each engine. Propeller options all dependent on the engine option. Uh, you can go for variable pitch, uh, constant speed or the fixed pitch uh, wooden propellers. Avionics, this specific aircraft has got a two-axis autopilot with MGL Odyssey uh, EFIS with the MGL V10 radio transponder so all these are options that you can add. You can go for the normal uh, analog gauges. Uh, you do not necessarily have to go for digital. We like the digital because it's lighter than analog. Uh, so in this uh, environment, we'd like to keep it as light as possible. Um, you know, the all-up weight being 700 kilogram or 600 in the LSA, you would uh, obviously want to load as much as possible in the aircraft uh, by keeping it light when you're building it. If you have the options of hydraulic brakes, uh, it comes standard with dual, uh, st dual sticks, but the dual brakes is an additional option that you can add. The aircraft is available in a, the tail wheel configuration or a nose wheel configuration. We prepare the airframe with a strontium chromate, which is an anti-aircraft grade anti-rust. Uh, it is the owner's choice or the uh, builder's choice uh, what color the airframe would be. Um, the kit comes complete with everything except uh, items that are user choosable, like engine, avionics, the propeller, the upholstery and the final paint color is not included in the kit. Further, uh, everything else is included. Okay, this is just to give you an idea of uh, how the kit comes packed. Um, we pack all the parts individually and we mark them. Uh, with the part number and the quantity uh, so when you follow the construction manual everything is logically marked and you can just uh, follow the manual and look at the parts spec list and you know exactly where the parts uh, are to go into the aircraft. The frame that you are looking at now is our development airframe. Um, we are busy with the VLA certification with this airframe, this one and the other one on that side.